What's going on everybody? So I just would like to reiterate how much you have to appreciate the people, the good people that you meet while on your YouTube uh, journey, making your channel and learning about these RC cars and everything. And just you meet some really great people now. Um, one of them people is Todd from RC Ohio. I was spitballing back and forth some ideas with him. Uh, about a project I had in mind and uh, Todd really came through so let's get this camera docked up and I'll show you some of the cool stuff that my good friend Todd printed for me and sent my way okay guys so first thing I want to show what was sent to me by my good friend Todd from RC Ohio he sent me these really cool 3d printed obstacles for the mini crawlers um this was something totally unexpected that was outside the scope of the project that i was talking about and it was it's always nice to open up a box and know that you're appreciated by good friends when they go out of their way to to do extra for you so let's just showcase these in action a little bit with my trx 4m and we're rocking some nice new uh, anodized aluminum wheels. Oh. KGM's bad driving. So you can just take these and you can set these up however you feel. You would like to uh, crawl over them. See, yeah, just cool stuff. Stuff to do inside the house during the winter time. Um, it's it's not always easy to get outside this time of year. Um, yeah, and I'm using my hands to set the crawler. Uh oh, I'm hung up on my Baja transmission back there. These are cool. I really like these. It's a great idea. Um, it's going to be a great addition to my little mini course when I finally get around to doing it. I'm super excited for that. Todd, thank you so much, man. Um, these were something that I got from somebody at work for doing for working on one of their trucks. Um, but these are cool. These are... Uh, gold act or gold black or something like that uh they're from amazon i can link them in the description this is something else that was totally unexpected but yeah these are cool man they got the wheel nut caps very scale looking this truck just looks mean in general so but yeah let's uh let's put this away and i'll get into the main thing i want to show in this video All right, guys, so this is the main project that Todd and I were working on. Uh, he did all the hard work. I just kind of gave him my idea. It left my brain through the telephone and into Todd's ears, and he ran with it. So this is a functional snowplow for the front of my Red Cat Gen 8, um, which is pretty cool. I got it set up on my third channel. I can raise and lower the plow. Um, unfortunately, all that snow I just got melted this week. So it, this is really cool. I can't wait till uh, we get a little bit more snow. And I'll be able to go out and actually test this out. But Todd did an outstanding job on this print. He went above and beyond and added some cool plow lights to it which I don't have hooked up yet because I have uh I've got to order the light controller because I want to hook this whole truck up with lights 
um, just because it's really my first scale crawler that I've had in a long time and I want to hook it up but this this plow this plow is cool man I, I can't believe how good of a job he did um, and what's nice about it is it's got enough weight to it where it actually uh, reacts very scale like on the truck itself he did a hundred percent infill on all the pieces and you know when you, you raise a real plow on a pickup truck it squats the front end and that's exactly what this does it does it, it i'm going to trip over my words here because i'm so excited about it but it's just ah uh, he really outdid himself and i'm very excited about it and i couldn't thank him enough so one last time, let's get a good look at this plow in action. There it is. This is going to be pushing some so snow soon. Maybe I'll, uh, let's get it on the floor and we'll, I'll put some stuff in front of it. We could push it around the shop. All right, guys, I just found some garbage laying around. Uh, let's pull up to this. I'll drop the blade and we'll, we'll move it around. I wish it was snow, but this is all we got for now. Oh, uh, uh, we're pulling up, pulling up to the garage door. We got to back blade this. I missed some. And the way that he did this, the original design had a chain fall, but with that, you're not going to get any down pressure. So it'll give it some down pressure to actually do something when it's outside pushing real snow. I got to tweak it a little bit and really, you know, get it to work. Well, not really get it to work. I shouldn't say that. It doesn't exactly touch the ground yet. I have to adjust everything to work with the Gen 8 because this original design wasn't even for this truck. But I am ecstatic. Todd, you did such a good job. I liked it so much I put one of his wonderful stickers right on the front there. Let's pull it in for a nice close look. Now that's the money shot right there, guys. If you haven't already, go check out RC Ohio. Give him a like. Give him a, a subscribe. He's a, he's a great dude. He has so many cool RCs. Fifth scales, tenth scales, mini scale. He, he's got Sherps, track machines, all different types of cool stuff, guys. So go check out Todd. I appreciate everybody watching. I'll catch you on the next one.